Hello one and all and welcome back to the kingdom. I'm your host, the Duke, also known as Dukeinator. We are playing Valheim, Mistlands. It's a Let's Build series. And man, do I love this game. Don't know if I've said that before, but I really do. Now, last time we uh, worked mostly on the kitchen and then took on bone mass. Uh, today we're going to focus on building a little bit more smaller projects up and around uh, the main base. So as you can see, this is where we're going to try and focus our attention today. See if we can upgrade the smelter factory a little bit as well. See if we can play some of our trophies here and maybe do some decorations and maybe some special buildings as well. So to start off, I was thinking of uh, placing some of the, the trophies first, uh, which I'm going to need these item stands. It's fine wood and bronze nails. So let's get that quickly. I've got enough of this. And then the nails as well. Yeah, plenty. Get our stomachs full as well. Now, if you remember, I said that this is where I place it like this. You can also place it at the top if you really wanted to. Uh, sometimes I do the one and then on another map I decide to do the other one. Just like this. Um, now that I see the runestone there at the background, we might actually do something on that side as well. Let me just try and get them all in the middle. Some of the trophies are fairly big. Um, and for that reason, you actually need quite a lot of space in between them uh, just to make sure you get through. I'm thinking about the golem in the mountains. That's a pretty big uh, trophy that sticks out. As well, maybe the sea serpent. That's also a big one. So let's see what trophies we can place. I don't think we've got enough place for all the trophies I currently have, but at least it's a start. We go with one with the boar, one with the nectar, and one deer. Yep. Then for the black forest, I'll take these. Should probably just switch those two around. And then this last guy. Okay. So let's put them in place first. I'm um, going to maybe do it like this. The necktail over there, the boar, and the deer. There we go. So as you can see, they are nicely displayed. Let's go with these ones. Three, four, five, and six, the big troll. And then the guy with the flower on his head, the brute. Okay, let's see what else we've got. So that was the black forest, all of them I think, yes. The swamp. Let's go with this one. That one. And that one, and I think I've got two more, yes. This one is up next, bigger than I thought it would be, and that one is much smaller than I thought it would be. The blobs. The abomination is quite wide, but luckily it 
fits in quite nicely. And then Sirtling and the Elite. Also pretty small, but okay. Let's see for the mountain. Did we get any here? Just the wolf, I think. Uh, not two, just the one, please. Oh, no. I've got more. I've got more. And that's it. Nothing for the planes just of yet. Now, following the pattern, I'm going to leave this one open for the drake. I don't have a drake trophy yet, so the wolf on that side. Then the, the wolf. Uh, weirdly shaped there. And on this side, the cultist, which looks actually pretty cool. Okay, so that's our walkway of trophies. As you can see, they are taking nicely shape. Um, I should remember to leave one open for the golem as well, that we find in the mountains. So I'm going to extend this walkway, of course. I'm going to try and see if I can get to a spot where I can build my living quarters and the armory. And uh, the spot over here, I was thinking of reserving for a nice trophy room where I can showpiece all the weapons and the armor and also store my gold and the things like that. So for next up, what I have in mind is uh, something over on the smelter factory site. So let me just, uh, yeah, this iron is done. I've got quite a lot of iron, as you can see, but I think for now I'm going to need to put in some copper. Let me get some more coal first. I need at least 80. So we can just stack them up like this. Now what I had in mind for the smelter over here was uh, sort of a veranda on the other side of the chests. Over on this side. Um, I've got an idea in my head that I have not uh, tested yet and I want to see if I can actually make it work. Uh, stability is going to maybe be a slight problem um, as I don't want to really put down any pillars along this way. So I was thinking of maybe reinforcing it from over there, uh, putting beams over across. So let me get some stone first and see if we can uh, figure out something. Uh, no stone there. Got plenty over here. I'm also going to need core wood, I think. And maybe some normal wood. Uh, okay, now just to remind me in terms of sizes. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Mm, I can do it up to there, and then maybe a little small extra part to going that way. I suppose that's an option, so let's see if we can make that work. So I'm going to, oh, I'm going to need a stone cutter first, come to think of it. So let me grab this one. I'm supposed to have another one around here somewhere. Just, just can't remember where I've placed it. There we go, stone cutter. And then, let's see if we can make this work. Um, I don't think that's high enough. I'm going to have to go one higher. Or at least a short stone higher. So let's get some elevation quickly. What is 
the height in terms of the smelters. I think that could work. That looks good. Okay, and then I want to extend these that I've already placed. For stability reasons, of course. Up to there. Yeah. Preferably, I would have maybe wanted to come over to this edge. So what I think I'm going to do, let me put uh, down one over there. Let's extend this one as well. And then I need the short ones on top of them. Like so. There we go. Okay, now let's see if we can make this work. So first off, some normal wooden beams that I'm just going to place here at the top. This is going to form my framework at the top. And then this way as well. Like that. Oh, I think this can work. Now, to give extra support for these guys, what I was thinking of is... Uh, let's see. I might have to add it from this side. Uh, I need a shorter beam for this one. Something like that. Mind you, let me let me put a longer beam in there. I want to see if it sticks through on the other side, and if it does, what that actually looks like. Let me just grab that wood. Uh, ever so slightly, and it's not really going to fit in now. Let's do the short one. So break down that one again, get the wood back, and it started raining of course. It usually rains when I'm building, for some other reason. So this one now shows up green, which means it is supported a little bit better, so I'm just going to continue. Like this. Come in over here again. Connect it with the arches at the back give it more stability that way and we will continue i think up to there yeah that looks about right there we go and then also add its stability and i don't think this one is going to fit Otherwise, what I have to do is maybe go up with this one as well. Uh, need a ladder. Wrong one. Something like that. And then I was thinking of seeing if I can connect those. No, that's not going to work. Let's see where this one will end up. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so it seems my framework is going to work. All I need to do now is just add the core wood poles, but uh, as we saw, it's only going to cover the first two, not the third one. So what I need to try and do maybe do it in sort of stages to give support to this beam as well uh, out of wood let's just grab some more and that puts me overweight because of the copper that I've been picking up let's put that away first thank you
Okay, so let's see how this is going to look. Mm, I don't want it to rest it on top. I want it to be somewhere in the middle. Maybe something like that. No, it's, it's not supposed to function as something that keeps the rain out. Not at all. Am I going too low now? Yeah. Those ones are higher. I need to keep it consistent, please. Ever so slightly, like that. This one as well. So first I need to check the line and then the height. Line and height. There we go. Just like that and I'm going to Take this right through to the side. This one is too low. That's better. There we go. Now I can add the support again. And because I was placing free placing this, the edges on this side is actually sticking through. Now if I place the smaller one on this side, I think it's going to go right through on this side, which is not really a problem. I think that could actually look pretty good. That could work. So let's just go through all of them. Get them in place. Probably going to have to... Well, this is awkward. Come on, where are you? Thank you. There we go. Let's break down this ladder. We don't need it anymore. That's looking a lot better. I can actually put in a filling over here. Maybe the same on the other side, just to close this off a little bit. That's an option. And uh, let me pick up this last copper as well. There we go. And it's still open on the sides of the smelters. But it's not really symmetric, is it? Okay, I don't need extra wooden beams in here, but I'm going to place them in, in anyway. I just want it to look a little bit more symmetric in terms of the building. A little bit more like that. And the same over here. And then on this side Same as well, but this one I'm going to add two long beams because we are adding on top to the right to the back of this one. There we go. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. I am liking this. Okay. 
this is a lot more functional in terms of looks that is still open so the smoke can get through i can even if i wanted to close this these gaps over here in between but uh, let me think about that for a little bit longer i'm not sure if i'm going to do that now um, i might try it later to see how it looks and then i can make a decision about that Maybe I should copy the other side, but that means I'll have to put uh, down a, a, a pillar of beams uh, up here, which I don't really want to do. So let's leave that for now. And let's go on over to the runestone. And let's do something about this little space over here. Let's move this workbench out of the way. And let's see, we can al always try the crosses first. Let's see if that works. There we go, and then over on this side we can put some stairs down let's see if it snaps in it does but it's not going to work because it's too high it's getting a little bit dark so i'll go and sleep in a moment let's see if we can get this lower not sure if this is low enough On this side, I probably have to repeat it like that. Out of wood. Let's get to wood over here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, almost like a secret garden that we can create over on this side. So what I'm going to do is just going to head back to my starter bike so I can get a good night's sleep and then we will continue in the morning. Okay, welcome back. This is the next morning. I hope you've got a nice cup of coffee or hot tea to keep you company. And uh, we're not going to finish this off completely yet because uh, this place is still going to expand that way and I'm not sure what is going to be in that spot so as soon as we do that we can then complete this one um, I was actually thinking of maybe building the wisp fountains here as well that you get with the mistlands so that's maybe something that we can look into but for now let me just put down some bench, benches and um, I wonder which way this is looking too far ah okay it's looking the right way at least so let me just break that one down and see where i can place it got one there one over there and a third one over there okay and what I want to do is level the ground a little bit. Might have to replace my benches now that I think of it. After... After that. Let's eat something as well. Okay. On to the next project. Um, this is one that's going to be a little bit longer, I think. I wanted to do this wall all around the edge that comes right up to this bridge and then continues from this side of the bridge uh, all around this edge basically. Um, that's the one thing I wanted to do. I also wanted to see if I can build a, not sure what to call it, maybe a Chinese Uganda over here in the middle. And then see if I can get a little bit of garden around it. As soon as the, the, the wall is uh, finished, 
then I can take down these palisades. Um, for this I'm going to give you a time lapse because it's going to take a little bit longer. So yeah, sit back and enjoy.
Okay, welcome back. I'm not sure if I've exceed. Uh, um, was able to do what I actually wanted to do. It it looks so so weird. The top part looks heavy, too big for the bottom part. Um, I couldn't really get the circle going around there, the middle. So I'm wondering if this uh, might be a little bit too difficult to try and do in Valheim. I know it's, it's probably possible, but uh, I can't seem to get it right at the moment. Maybe I should just try and build a, a square, one that would look a lot, a lot better. And also I wanted to put a table and stuff down here, but I need tar for that. So it is not something that I can do just of yet. I need to get to the plane so I can start harvesting tar. Um, but that's that part. Um, I haven't gotten around to the wall yet. I've run out of time basically. I wasted too much time on trying to get that thing right. But we did uh, get up some trophies today. We also started um, putting down some things around this rune stone to make it look a little bit better. Uh, I might change it up a little bit more depending on what happens on the other side. We'll see. Then also we made some progress at the smelter factory. As you can see we've put up this what I would call a veranda. Looks like there's some core wood laying around. Um, I'm quite happy with how it actually came out. So that's looking good. Yeah, so that's going to be it for this episode. Unfortunately, I don't have time to do something more, but thank you for joining me. Uh, I would like it if you liked the video. And if you are new, think about subscribing. Share it as you see fit. And uh, I will see you next time. Enjoy.